So, to continue with some elite forces, I figured I might need more Kazakin, or might try some Scions, and the Station Forge Grimguard Tinkers caught my eye. I like the extra armor and the eyepiece, some sort of enhanced targeting or visual magnification, maybe letting them kick through spectrums like in Predator 2. Their backpacks are also rather nifty, with the mines, the bombs, the pickaxe and rope, so many bits and bobs, all these tools for every eventuality on the battlefield. But the combat shotguns will have to go. In their place, the commandos will supply hot shot las guns, plasma, box, and the sword and pistol for the watchmaster. Because the backpacks are large, it means I can just glue the power cable straight to that, instead of the usual laser capacitor pack. Now, to assist in visual identification from the rest of my Krieg, I'm going to mount them on the Station Forge industrial bases. All the links are in the description. Because I'm going to need to dry brush them with Iron Hand Silver, I'm going to have to paint everything and then assemble. A stretch of tape along a ruler, and then fasten down at each end so I can drop the models onto it and have them remain upright so I can blast them from every angle in one go with the Citadel Chaos Black Primer in my box. And then a brush of Abaddon Black over the industrial bases, and then a fresh strip of sellotape turn sticky side up and tape down at the ends so I can paint the scions and drop them onto this to dry. A layer of Abaddon Black on the whole squad and then onto the Iron Hand Steel Base to give the industrial bases a light dry brush to catch all those edges and nice features. Onto the Krieg and a dry brush of Thunderhawk Blue Dry to get the wrinkles in the clothing and on the hems of the coats and then the Dawnstone applied lighter to accent the same areas. And then back to the Iron Hand Steel to dry brush the armor and the weapons, which means the Krieg are pretty much all done except for the red, which means I can now glue them to the bases. And then Corn Red on the pauldrons. I pondered making that one eyepiece red as well, but it'll look a little just too Terminator, so I think I want to stick with the more subtle dark lens. Besides, these guys operate in stealth and camouflage. A laser pointer for an eyeball might compromise that effort. Anywho, and then a wash of Caraberg Crimson to give the shield armor some nice shadows. Then onto the plasma. White scar as a base on the gluey bits. And once that is dry, Tesseract Green Glow, liberally applied so that it pools on the edges and in the troughs, giving it a nice radiant effect. And then back to the hiking boot box to give everything a nice quick squirt of varnish from every angle from about a foot away. And so here we are, my squad of Tempestus Scions, the elite stormtroopers of the Astra Militarum, armed with hotshot las guns, shielded by carapace armor with an omni shield helm targeting system, deep strike assaults, recon patrols, infiltration, sabotage, or airborne shock attack. They are an elite force capable of working deep behind enemy lines. There are roughly five types of Scion. Cadian Kasakin, Katachan Devils, Stormtroopers, and Inquisitional Stormtroopers, but these are Grenadiers, raised up from the Imperial Guard of planets like Cadia, and in this case, Krieg. They are admired as a force to emulate, the best that Krieg has to offer, warriors to contribute to the endless quest for redemption through service to the Emperor, and death defending the Imperium.